Hey guys, this is Danx87. Today I'm going to be showing you health and health bars. This is a very basic way to do it, but I may be covering this in more depth later. As you can see, when he's shot, he flashes. During that flashing time, he cannot be damaged again. And when he gets down to no health, he dies. Okay, so what you're going to need is one tag sensor, three tags, three timers, one randomizer, one occupancy tweaker, a kill tweaker, a follower, a gyroscope, and a broadcast microchip. Okay, so we're going to start by making our health bar the physical version. I do this by making a stickle panel T and attaching some logic to it. Now you don't have to have a physical appearance for your health. This will still work without it. However, the player will not know how much health they've got. Okay, so I make the T completely invisible. Then I add in a microchip to the bottom of the T. Inside this microchip, we're going to need a few pieces of logic, which we'll touch on in just a second. Now we need our counter. Oh, not a timer, a counter and then we need to position it how we want it to look so I'm gonna have five hits and I'm dead I can extend that and place this however I want it to look bigger or smaller obviously in your own levels you can even use sticker panel to represent where your health is you don't have to use a counter so we'll need to make the counter inverted and we can make it any color we want so I'm gonna go with red before I went with green I'm gonna go with red this time now we're going to add some logic into our microchip. So we're going to start off with a follower. This is so that your health bar follows you around. So I'm going to make this the fastest it can possibly be. And we're going to make it have unlimited range. So unlimited and all of the layers. Then I want this to follow the blue tag that is player. So blue tag, tag name, player. Next we want a gyroscope because we don't want the health bar spinning around. So we're going to make that as strong as possible as well. Next up we want some tag sensors. We're going to need two tag sensors in here. The first one is going to be for when uh, a, something damages us. So for instance mine are bullets, yours can be absolutely anything you want. And it's going to be blue and hit. Then I'm going to attach that to the physical version of the counter. I'm going to make it unlimited range and we're going to have another one this time this one is going to be unlimited range again blue but with player and it's going to be inverted this is going to be then attached to the reset on our counter it means that when your player is dead your tag is no longer there and it will reset the health bar okay that's the health bar done next up we're going to get out another piece of sticker panel material and we're going to put a broadcast microchip on it. I'm just going to make the sticker panel invisible. And we're going to change some settings in the broadcast microchip. So we want it all in range, um, unlimited range for this. Um, this, is, this is only useful for a one player game. For multiple players this will not work. If I get lots of interest to make a multiplayer version I will make one. But for now this will have to do okay so next we want a tag sensor we want this tag sensor to be around it sense around 8 and we want it to only be on our layer so go down to 0 and then we want that to be whatever is your damaging tag so mine is red and damage next up we want a timer this needs to be set to 1 and a countdown timer and that needs to be attached to the tag then we are going to grab our counter this is the actual thing that monitors how much health you've got so we're going to put that down to five just like the physical version and we're going to attach that to the timer we get ourselves a tag that is hit so that every time you're hit it activates the tag which tells the physical one to go down one then we need another one that is player 
This one is, needs to always be on because when you're dead, then it turns off. Next up, we want our kill tweaker. You can use any animation you wish in this. The setting needs to be um, owning player, not anything else, and it needs to be attached to the counter. Now moving on to our flashing when we're hit, we use a randomizer and we set the randomizer on time to 0 0.0. Then the randomizer, or the timer needs to be attached into the randomizer so that it only goes on for that one second. Then you get your occupancy tweaker and we set that, you don't want it completely invisible because it makes it look a bit silly so you go over with about 22% and no fade time and then attach that to the randomizer. Also need to make the physical counter visible in play mode. So don't forget to do that as well. Lastly, if you want to add a sound for when you are damaged, put any of the sounds in and then attach it to the countdown timer. And that is that complete. Obviously this can be used not only for sacks, but you could use it for robots or ships, anything you like. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, keep tuned for more. Don't forget to subscribe. Keep those requests coming in. Cheers, guys.